Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend tarot reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for you. This is a general tarot reading session for the Virgo friends out there. What can I get for Virgo, please? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for you, Virgo, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, um, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Virgo, I invite you to also please follow me on my blog, sunshine-tv.com. Subscribe in the new new newsletter. Subscribe in the newsletter and you'll be able to receive full moon, new moon, and other important and interesting astrology views, opinions, and stories, if you are keen. And all other services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, it's in the website, okay? So let's start your reading. Let me just cut this into three again, and there you go. And let's start your reading. What is your weekend reading? Oh, six of wands. Look at that. Victory. Six of Wands, Glorious, okay? Nine of Cups, okay? I feel like you're ignoring someone if you are ignoring someone. And um, like if you're playing Cupid, playing hard to get, you know, um, without hate, you know, without hating them, without... Without an attachment of something evil or dark. You're simply ignoring them. You know, you're making them wait. And you're not prioritizing them. Let's put it this way. You're ignoring someone or you're not prioritizing to reply. You're making them wait. You're not angry. You're not mad. You're chillax, you know. You're simply in your zone. You're winning. You know, they can't, they cannot wait for you to reply, to respond. I mean, this person feels agitated, like, you know, um, they could not, it's a person who could not sleep at night. <laughs> like, they keep sitting and waiting and looking at the text. Um, they have not follow up. Although I feel like they will very soon. They will very soon. And um, you're winning. You're winning. You know. I'm not reading reversals today. Strength card. You are going to tame the lion. The monster. In the past I feel like this person. They made you wait. You're the chaser. But things are different right now. I feel like your focus is about career. Your focus is about really getting healthy. And by putting your attention to yourself, to your career, to your passion. You've got a passion in here. I don't know, but I don't think this passion is related to love. Um, because you're quite busy. Your, your schedule is demanding. The hours of your time, your schedule, it has changed. It, it's, a very, it's, a very, it's a very busy. It's a busy situation at work or in life. And this person came along and it's one thing to connect, reconnect. This is predictive anyway. Um, it could be happening right now, but I really feel like it's it's more of a next month. Yeah. So in, in the next two weeks, you're going to be very busy with something. And this person is going to say to you out of the blue, what's up? And you'll make them wait. For some of you intentionally, but it's not to play the game. It's just that I'm so busy, so you've got to wait. And they could not help but to, to kind of think, why are you doing this? Why are you making them wait? Like it's, it's, it's a feeling of they could not accept that they're waiting. In the past, you quickly respond, you quickly reply. But now, um, they could not really kind of accept or it's, it's um, hard feelings. It's a reversal. Um, yeah, Queen of Swords. When this is an upright position, this is my bitch card. They're upset. They're annoyed. Like, why are you doing this, Virgo? Why are you making me wait? Judgment card, then they follow up. Okay? And they realize, like, Devil card. 
it's it's a toxic feeling to wait you know they feel like the more they the more they the more they wait the more it makes them feel agitated there is a little bit of pride towards this person where you you can't um you can't resist me virgo um with you on the other hand you versus them your energy in here is just you're simply busy okay um like the apple of in in the past they are the they are the apple of your eyes but it's the reverse i felt like this person connected to you came back to you or wanting to talk to you in a time where you're busy you're not so in love or you're not in so you're not so into them i feel like this is you you know and this is your person they keep checking they keep checking their phone their messages you being online um i feel like the energy coming from you is you don't know what to say or they're not your priority you've got other things to do you know i really feel like you're busy nine of wands you're also scared to open up to this person you're quite guarded and at the same time you're tired you're tired you're busy you're busy with something six of ones nine of ones three of pentacles and i'm not reading reversals guys three of pentacles in upright position they'll follow up they'll definitely make a follow-up and the way this person follow up the second follow-up the third follow-up the reply it is quite sarcastic two of ones you know, I'm seeing the devil, the judgment card, nine of wands. They will critic you. Oh, you know, you don't like me anymore. Don't you miss me? Two of wands, don't you miss me? When are you available? Something like that. They will they will message you. And in, in the second round, in the follow-up message, they will be very... Because in the first message, it's kind of hello. Hey, what's up? In, in the follow-up, in the second message, um, they're quite sarcastic, but there is another part of the sentence or the word, maybe in the conversation, where I want to see you, you know, right away. And you're thinking, um, you came back or you came along or you called at the wrong time. I really feel like you're into... For some of you guys, the reason why you can't focus to this person, even though in the past you're really into them, you've got a lot of flame to them. You've got something of a, you've got an issue. You've got an, you've got an issue overseas. You've got an issue with your work or your family. That's why this person is not your priority. One more card. Yeah. You know, four of wands. You, you, you're sorting out something about family, about. You're sorting out something about family, about work, about stability. That this is your priority. You're keeping... Like, you could not focus because your focus is your life, your stability. In the past, you, you don't have this issue or problem. That's why you could connect with this person. But right now, your mind is occupied about something. And you've got this love romantic situation coming towards you. And it's not that you're not interested. It's just that you don't have time. You, you have other priorities. It's a reversal. They came back in a time where you're not kind of interested with love. Let's see. If this person meant to be with you, you know, they'll stay. They'll stick around. But there's a rush in the follow-up. In the second follow-up, there's a rush in the tone of their voice, in the way they reply to you. They're quite... They're even sounding like sarcastic or sarcasm. So I will leave it with you, Virgo, on how you deal with this person. Um, you can make them wait as long as you want to make them wait. It is your choice. You have got free will. Because I honestly feel like there's something that needs to be prioritized. You know, something is in precedes. Someone precedes. Something is needing priority, top priority versus this person. So they've got to wait, okay? To the left, to the left. Anything you blank. What's that song? Yeah. Like they need to wait. 
I'll see you soon. Good luck, guys, and take it easy, whatever it is you're prioritizing, you know, one step at a time. Breathe, and I'll see you in the weekly love reading tomorrow. Bye, guys.